Hello mortals. Earth is a cool planet. Be it flat, cubic, or earth-shaped, it is the only planet in the universe to actually have a life. Except Pluto. Pluto is a cool planet too. Yes, I said planet. But the Earth is also fairly old. If you consider the first human settlement as built one day ago, then the Earth has been around for almost 2000 years. That's a long time, and a lot of interesting things happened during that time span. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. In order to find more about the history of the Earth, we need to go back 4.5 billion years, back when the solar system was being formed. This formation has probably been caused by a dense cloud of interstellar gas and dust, the cloud collapsed which possibly happened due to the shockwave of a nearby exploding star or more commonly, a supernova. Now over the course of about 5 Cyberpunk 2077 development cycles, 5 planets were slowly created viaduct gas particles interacting with each other. The planets were Jupiter, Saturn, Planet 5, Uranus and Neptune. For those confused about Planet 5, it was eventually knocked out of the solar system due to being unable to coexist with Jupiter because of its orbit, thus getting yeeted into the dark depths of space. But shortly after the formation of those five planets, another five were created. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Thea and Mars. These twelve planets weren't peaceful but they were stable. A little stable. It took around 120 million years before anything spectacular happened, which was the collision of Earth and Thea. That collision is important because it is what formed Moon Chan. And without it. All the water on Earth would evaporate and all life would die. Earth and a few other planets were going haywire and another one got ejected due to the collision. Now this was bad, but over time, things in our solar system started to calm down, and in the time span of around 1 billion years, the Earth evolved its first life form somewhere in the deep Cyan Sea, mainly thanks to the ending of the asteroid bombardment era and the basic atmosphere that was able to support life. These life forms would remain as microorganisms for about 1 to 3 billion more years. As for other news, Mars and Venus both had water at this time, so they could have also supported life for around a billion years or so. While there aren't many life forms that evolve in the 1 to 3 billion year time span, geology really can happen. And some examples may include the changing continents throughout the planet. In the modern day, this is the map most people are used to. But this is what the Earth looked like 66 million years ago. It's a lot more different to what most people expect, and through this expansion we can pinpoint some important events in the biological history. Fun fact, did you know that the first human tribes and settlements couldn't hide their online identity? That resulted in plenty of disagreements, totalitarian regimes and a general lack of individual liberties. But it all ended when the prophesized hero arrived. Awarded as the best VPN of 2020, NordVPN encrypts your data while you browse online, and doesn't allow the bad guys to access it. Connect to over 5,500 fast servers anywhere in the world and surf anonymously from that region. Did you too block a video for your area? Or is there a Netflix show unavailable in your country? Simply select your region of choice and the problem is solved. You can even have your own dedicated IP. Choose double VPN for extra security or repair to peer server for fast torrenting. Connect up to six devices at the same time and use it as much as you need it, as you are provided with unlimited bandwidth. The CyberSec suite available also acts as an ad blocker. Use the lightweight Chrome extension for even user friendlier browsing. NordVPN is compatible with almost all operating systems, be it Windows, Mac OS, Android, or iOS. Recommended by the top technology experts, you can get 68% off of your NordVPN subscription, paying only $3.71 per month. By accessing the link from the description and using the coupon science file, you also get 4 entire extra months for free. Going back to our topic. Just a little while after 100 million years, the earliest evidence of photosynthesis in cells appeared. 200 million years later the earliest evidence of existential dread. And life on land appeared on Earth as well. Now a big leap. 
500 million years, this was the time needed for the first ice age on Earth to happen after Earth's first land creature emerged. It lasted for over 100 million years, with it being minor compared to the future ones. Another half a billion years later, or 2.5 billion BC, the Earth turned doom red. Why was that? Were there some asteroids that had a red pigment? Did another portal open? Maybe, red acted sus? According to science, cyanobacteria living in the oceans started producing oxygen through photosynthesis. As oxygen built up in the atmosphere, anaerobic bacteria were killed leading to the Earth's first mass extinction. It really shows how the smallest things can cause changes as big as changing the colors of entire planets, and another 500 million years later an event called the anoxic catastrophe happened, in which 99.5% of all microbial life was wiped off the surface for ironically lack of oxygen, which was the opposite cause of the previous extinction millions of years before. At this time the entire Earth was a water world and would stay like that for a long time. Another half a billion years later the first fungi was created. Soon a roar later the formation of the inner core and sexually reproducing animals emerged. It turns out having a hard core really allows for some nice reproduction capabilities. Sexual reproduction allows for the revolution of more genetic variety, allowing evolution to happen at a faster rate. It is 800 to 700 million BCE. And around this time the ancestor to all land plants evolved from algae living in shallow water. This is also followed by the fact that two major periods of glaciations occurred during the aptly named Cryogenian period on Earth. It is debated whether or not these events contributed or harmed the biodiversity later on in Earth's history. In around 100 million years, the first actual animals were found near the Trazona Formation in modern-day South Australia. Now on Earth, Many important explosions happened like the meme explosion of 2011, but this one was perhaps the most important of them all for very different reasons, the Avalon explosion. Now, for a time reference, it is 500 million BCE, about the time the Ediacaran Binda appeared, or the first complex multicellular organisms. Many of our modern day animal phyla start to appear. And this is about the point where most of the life we know of today evolved from, thus being a giant stepping stone for evolution. Our ozone layer was also formed at this time, that happened due to the increasing oxygen levels that rose to the point where a protective layer of ozone could form to protect us from the deadly laser that is the sun. Around 50 million years later, the first vertebrates also appeared, bringing in frogs and whales into the biological equation. 100 million years later the first land-breathing animal was born. It was called the pneumodesmus, and was a species of millipede that contained respiration structures that could only work on land, and the final event we'll talk about is the great dying, that happened around 250 million BCE, this event is known for being the most severe extinction event ever. It left 96% of the marine life and 70% of the terrestrial vertebrates extinct. It marks the end of the Paleozoic and the beginning of the Mesozoic Eon. Similarly, this video marks the end of 2020 and the beginning of the next chapter. Will things magically change overnight? Of course not, years are arbitrary time periods. You are the ones who have to make the change, but knowing humans, I have my doubts. Nonetheless, I wish everyone a happy post-2020 period. To anyone watching from the future, let us know how your current year compares to 2020. At least you still have internet access, so that's something.